Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. So I thought I would just quickly jump on here and share a little project with you. Uh, and we're actually heading out here in a couple of hours. Uh, some really good friends of ours are getting married today. So it's a very special day. They've actually been together for quite a number of years. So this is really cool. We're very excited for them. And I just wanted to put together a really special kind of a customized little gift. It's kind of a last minute kind of <laughs> gift, but I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but what a better way to do that than using my Cricut machine. So this is what I've come up with. I actually just finished cutting the vinyl. All I did was I just went on to my little design space here and I used the skinny font because I really like that one. That's one of my favorite ones right now. And I just put hubby and wifey and the date today. And I've cut that out. It's already kind of done its thing. And then I've got these two mugs that I had just sitting in my stash. I got these from Dollar Tree, good old Dollar Tree. You know, it pays to have stuff like this kind of kicking around for the last minute projects like this. So I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy these come together. So before I put my vinyl onto my mugs, I just want to prepare them here a little bit first to make sure that the vinyl is gonna stick really, really well. So I just went ahead and I washed these with just some hot soap and water first, but I wanna make sure that there's absolutely no oils from my fingers or my hands on, on the surface where I'm gonna actually put my decals because that will just give them a better chance of adhering. So what I'm gonna use is just some rubbing alcohol here. And this is great because it evaporates really quickly and dries. And so I'm just gonna clean the surface here really, really well. And then by the time I get my decals ready here, this will be all dry. So that's the first step. So like I was mentioning before, my uh, vinyl's been all cut out and it's ready to come out of the machine. So I'm just gonna hit the little flashing arrow button here so that it'll come out. And I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna cut my vinyl. I like to do it this way just so that I have the least amount of waste as possible because this stuff is not cheap, that's for sure. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out and then I'll show you how I'm gonna weed it and put it onto my transfer tape. So now I'm ready to go ahead and take the top part of the stencil off because I want my numbers and letters to be left behind. And I find that the easiest way to do that is just leave it right here on my mat. And this is a permanent vinyl here that I'm using. I bought this from uh, Michaels. It's an actual Cricut product. I wanted to make sure I used a good quality vinyl here for this project because I want it to last. Now, as I'm pulling up, I'm noticing that especially these little numbers, sometimes they like to stay behind. So you just have to be kind of patient and careful so that you don't lose any of your <laughs> little pieces here. And like I said, I'm just gonna go nice and slow and really careful here so that I don't lose anything. It's looking great. Now I'm just gonna Make sure these numbers are on here really well because they're quite small. And I find if you just go nice and slow and if you're patient, patience is a virtue, right? Isn't that what they say? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So that's what I've got so far. Now I just have to go back and pull out the inside pieces here where the numbers are. And the next step is to use some transfer tape so that we can get it ready to put onto our mugs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish taking out the rest of these little pieces here. And then when I come back, I'll show you how to put it onto the transfer tape. So there's my pieces of vinyl all ready to put onto my mugs, but before I can do that, I need to put it on a piece of transfer tape. So actually this stuff I just picked up from Dollar Tree. It's just the clear uh, shelf liner. And so for $1.25, that's a pretty awesome, cheap way to transfer your images for sure. So what I've done is I've just cut a piece that's a little bit bigger than what I have here already. So I'm just gonna peel the backing off. There we go. So just peel that right off. And then you want to line this up, 
Try not to get any air bubbles or anything in it and you just want this to be nice and flat. And then you take your little tool here, you could also use a credit card or whatever, and you just wanna make sure that this is stuck on here really, really well. And then I'm actually gonna take this right off of my mat. And what I'll do is I'll just cut this so that I have two separate stencils here. And then it's a little easier to work with. And I'm also gonna cut this down as well. Again, just to make it a little bit easier to work with. So if the lighting isn't that great, the sun is coming in all of a sudden. It's become a nice day. <laughs> it's decided it's gonna be nice. So there's my first little stencil. So now I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and put that right on to the mug. So before I do that, I'm gonna do again, just make sure that my vinyl is really stuck to my transfer tape. And then I'm just going to peel this part off. And that's easier said than done sometimes, come on. So what we wanna do now is we want the vinyl to come up and be stuck to our transfer tape so that we can put it onto the mug. So you can see how it's not sticking to the tape yet. So I just need to go back and really, it might be easier if I use my mat here, and really push to get those to stick really well. Again, you just have to be patient and go nice and slow. And eventually, <laughs> sometimes what I'll also do is I'll take my little weeding tool and I'll just help it along. If it seems like it's really stuck, then I'll just help it out here. There we go. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the back end of my little tool and just kind of burnish it here a little bit and that helps too. But again, you just have to be patient. I think that this method of transfer tape is, it is an inexpensive way to do it, but I think if you were using regular um, transfer tape, like more expensive stuff, probably is a little stickier and works probably a little easier and better. But I mean, you know what, you just have to be patient. And for the, the fact that it's so inexpensive, you know what, I, I can be patient and just be careful. So I've got all my numbers off here. Now I'm just gonna work on the rest of my letters. So I'm gonna just continue to do this. And when I come back, we will be ready to put it onto the mug. So I've got all my vinyl onto my transfer tape and it's now ready to put onto my mug. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put something underneath here so that it can't roll around. There we go. And I'm gonna line this up. You kinda of only have one opportunity with this. So what I like to do is I just get right over top of it, try to get it as straight and centered as possible. Like I said, you only have one shot, usually. There we go and just go ahead and kind of rub. I just use my fingers. And then you can use your little tool here as well. And again, just make sure that the numbers and the letters are really stuck before you peel that tape off. Okay, this is the fun part, the exciting part. So here we go, I'll just grab an edge here. And it should, with any luck. Yay, it's looking great. And again, I'm just gonna go really slowly, especially when I come to these numbers, cause they're very small. And look at that, awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. Check it out. So there's one, now I just have to do the other one. Sometimes what I'll also do is I'll just go back and use my finger or I'll take the backing of the, the transfer paper 
and just kind of use that and really just rub because I, I'd hate for these to come off. And I'll also make sure that I tell them not to put these into the dishwasher because that will probably lessen the life of them. So if they just wash them by hand, they should last a good long time. I made some for myself here not too long ago and they are holding up really, really well. Um, yeah, so there you have it. There's the first one. So there's the final result. I am so happy with the way these turned out and I whipped these up in like 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I did without my Cricut machine. I really don't because when it comes to just, you know, making some really cute personal gifts, it comes in so handy and I am not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Cricut, <laughs> but I have to say that I am so impressed with this little gadget and I use it all the time and I'm having so much fun playing around with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little project share today. We're going to be heading off to the wedding here very soon. So I got to get these things wrapped up and ready to go. So until next time, hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.